I'm Kat Dillon and today I'm going to show you how to make peanut butter squash and pumpkin brownies. But uh, squash and pumpkin are actually the same family. Pumpkin is in the same family as a squash. So let's go ahead and make the brownies today with pumpkin. To a medium sized bowl we're going to take our one cup of peanut butter. You can also use any other kind of butter like sunflower butter, even almond butter, cashew butter, whichever butter you like. Then I'll add to that a cup of pumpkin or squash leftovers. To that I'll take a half a cup of honey or maple syrup. I like to use the honey in this one. Then I'm going to add one egg. So I'm adding one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I have a mixture of three tablespoons of um, cocoa powder along with one half a teaspoon of baking soda. So let's go ahead and sift that. Place that aside. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix it together. It's quite a dry mixture. It'll take a little bit of time to incorporate. So I have a little bit left of the, of the cocoa powder. I'm going to use that in place of flour on the bottom of my Pyrex. And from there, I'll go ahead and spoon it in. This is a really simple recipe. You'll love it and it tastes great. So I'm going to take an offset spatula here and I'm going to take that around each corner, make sure it's nice and flat on each corner. And now it's ready to go into an oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure you keep a good eye on it. And here's our finished pumpkin brownies and whoever thought that you could fight disease and, and deliciously with a delicious morsel like this.